Hi, and welcome back to My Cowboys Family. On today's episode, we're going to go and review the offensive line. The most dominating offensive line in the whole entire NFL. And even though we lost two of our starters, I think we're actually better than we were last season. Now, of course, everything starts with Travis, Travis Frederick, our center. I mean, he's just a dominant center, pro bowler. I mean, he's going to be there another, another 8, 10 years dominating. So thank goodness we have him there. And, he, and he's really smart. You know, he, he knows how to control the line. He knows what's going on. He knows how to, how to read the defense. And, you know, blitzes and things. He has great communication with the quarterback. It was used to be Romo. Now it's Dak. So, I mean, you can't ask for a more solid guy than, than Travis Frederick. Next, let's talk about our right guard position, Zach Martin, another pro bowler, another awesome specimen at, at, on the offensive line that can just block with the best of them. Probably a future Hall of Famer. And, uh, I mean, just you, you can't say enough good things about him. Everybody knows about him, and he's dominant. Now, on the left side, uh, left guard, we have an opening there. Ronald Leary went as a free agent and signed with Denver. We knew we were going to lose him, so we picked up Jonathan Cooper, which I think he's in the, right now he's the starter in that spot, and uh, they were talking about Leal Collins being, being playing guard, but I think they're going to be moving him to the tackle position. He can play either or, so that's a good sign as far as that player is concerned, but when it comes to Jonathan Cooper, this guy was a top pick. I think he was with the Cardinals last year, and he's just been injury prone. He hasn't really ever produced. He's kind of been a, a first round bust. Of course, when the pads come on and they start hitting in a week or so, we'll see what happens. But right now, I see Jonathan Cooper being the, the leader right now for that, that left guard spot. Um, now, continuing on the left side, next to him, on the left tackle, is Tyron Smith. Uh, we all know him. To me, he's, he's my favorite. He's He's the best out of all of them, and he protects the blind side of the quarterback. I mean, this guy, he, he's been doing it for Romo for years. You know, he's doing great. You know, he'll do it great for Dak just as well. Uh, and he really, he's probably the best tackle in the league, in my opinion, uh, especially blind side tackle. So, Tyron Smith, you're the man. Now, on the right side, right tackle, we have an opening. Doug Free, who was our starter last season, he retired. Um, in my opinion, he was our weak link on our offensive line. He would be called a lot for holding. He'd be he'd miss his assignments. He just wasn't a consistent tackle. And I think it's, it was due for an upgrade. And thank goodness we have Leal Collins in there. Last year, he got hurt in the Bears game. Um, thankfully, I'm hearing he's back to 100%. And he could play either guard, meaning he could play either left, left guard or right tackle. And the way it's panning out with Cooper producing very well at the guard position, it looks like he, like, um, like Collins is going to be playing the right tackle, which is fantastic. He's, he's good at either position. Um, so, I mean, I, like I said, I think we've actually upgraded our offensive line from being the best last season. Now, we do have a couple other guys uh, as backups. Um, if you do remember, we had Emmett Cleary. We had uh, Joe Looney. We also picked up Byron Bell from Carolina. And he's not, be aware of him too. He's a decent backup. He's going to give some, some good depth. I think he's better than the other two guys I just named. So if things pan out in training camp and uh, there's not any, any, any setbacks, I think that we're going to have a, an offensive line that was even better than last year's best offensive line, which is our own. So expect us to improve and to dominate. And if we just have Zeke back there and Dak throwing that ball, making the reads, I think it's just going to be control the, the clock eat up time, give our defense as, as much rest as possible, and we can if we can just control the clock and, and, and score points in the red zone, I don't mean field goals, I mean touchdowns. It's going to put pressure on the opposing offenses, and it makes it easier for our defense to to attack, to know that they're going to be passing 90, you know, 80% of the time. So let me know what you guys think. Please comment below, and make sure to subscribe. And don't forget... Go Cowboys!